we use the teeth to bite and chew foods. In this film, we shall find out how teeth develop and grow. Which food strong teeth? How to brush the teeth? And how the dentist cares for our teeth? A baby's first tooth is always an exciting event. It was, however, forming in baby's jaw even before he was born. Six months before birth, soft tissue masses in the jaw begin forming the teeth. Gradually, the tooth shape develops and the hardening process begins. At birth, the crown of the tooth is almost completely formed and the root begins to develop. Even before the root is fully formed, the tooth pushes through the jaw and gum. The teeth break through the gum one after another. These first teeth are called baby teeth. Enamel makes up the tooth's hard protective covering. Dentine, softer than the enamel, forms the body of the tooth. Cementum covers the root of the tooth. And the pulp is the soft center part, which contains blood vessels and nerves. The four parts are enamel, dentine, cementum, and pulp. Now repeat these parts to yourselves. Enamel dentine, cementum, and pulp. Before the baby was born, the first tooth gave off a bud that began forming a second or permanent tooth. It takes about four years for the enamel to develop fully. The root formation begins afterwards and is completed about three years later. Before the root is fully completed, the tooth pushes through the gum to replace the first tooth. This is the second or permanent tooth. The permanent teeth appear in the following order in the lower jaw. First molars, central incisors, lateral incisors, cuspids, first bicuspids, second bicuspids, second molars, and finally, the third molars or wisdom teeth. Remember, the baby teeth appear first, followed by the second or permanent teeth. The six-year molars are usually the first permanent teeth. From the start, they should therefore be given special care. The small grooves or fissures on the grinding surfaces of the molars often are poorly formed. They are places where bacteria thrive. When the groove is deep, it allows bacteria and food particles to gather and start decay. Bacteria also find food particles and hiding places on the smooth surfaces between the teeth. It is hard to keep these places clean. In these places, the mucin in the saliva deposits a film or spongy substance. Within this film substance, certain acid-producing bacteria feed on sugars and starches. As these bacteria digest sugars and starches, they produce acids represented here as black dots. These acids dissolve the cementum and pieces of enamel break away. The bacteria multiply and the decay penetrates still further into the tooth. When decay is allowed to continue, large cavities result. When the decay enters the dentine, the nerve is soon affected. The tooth may now start to ache. Decay into the pulp of the tooth may lead to infection and loss of the tooth. 
some foods are easily changed into acids by bacteria in the mouth particularly foods made from white sugar or white flour therefore we can help to prevent decay of our teeth by avoiding foods made from white sugar or white flour. Meals made up largely of whole wheat bread, leafy vegetables, fruits and milk are always good and especially for the teeth. Oranges, apples, tomatoes contain vitamin C. This vitamin helps to build strong teeth and keep the gums healthy. Milk is the best single food for a healthy body. It has calcium in large amounts and phosphorus. Mary visits her dentist twice a year. Dr. Davis examines Mary's teeth. He cleans especially between the teeth and in irregular places. He cleans around the gum edges and on the smooth surfaces between the teeth. After scraping Mary's teeth, Dr. Davis polishes them. If he finds tiny decay spots, he fills the cavities immediately before the decay penetrates deep into the tooth. A local anesthetic can be used if the tooth is sensitive. Not even a dentist can clean the fissures. Dr. Davis fills the crevices before bacteria can start decay. Now, he shows Mary a good way to brush her teeth. First, clean the grinding surfaces, brushing back and forth thus cleaning crevices and fissures of the molars. Next, with rotary strokes, brush the inside surfaces of the teeth, rotating from the gum over the teeth towards the biting surfaces. Now, brush the outer surfaces in the same manner. Take about 12 strokes on each place. The rotary strokes massage the gums and stimulate blood circulation that keeps gums healthy. The teeth should be brushed at least twice every day, morning and night. Teeth that have been neglected for a long time require painful and costly treatment. Many people suffer serious illnesses because of infection from bad teeth. Others lose much time from their work. Some must have teeth extracted because of neglect. Adults who have given teeth proper care have helped to preserve their teeth for many years. Many cities, counties, and schools have programs for dental care. Many cities have community health centers or special clinics where children may receive dental care if they cannot go to a dentist. In the clinic, the children are taught how to care for their teeth. The toothbrush drill is given by the dental hygienist. The x-ray machine takes pictures that show the inside of a tooth. Dentists study these x-rays to find decayed spots which they could not otherwise detect. They immediately take care of this decay to prevent further tooth destruction. Although the community, through its health program, strives for good health in all, still the main responsibility for healthy teeth depends on each one of us. We must do three things. First, we must eat the proper foods. Second, we must clean our teeth every day. And third, we must visit the dentist regularly. Now, will you all read these rules aloud? <laughs> 